Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to uh, another Bubby Golf video. I don't think I've ever said good morning in a Bubby Golf video because I'm normally not filming in the morning. Not much of a morning person right now, you know what it is, but we just made it to PGA Tour Superstore. And in today's video, I have to replace arguably two of the most important clubs in my bag. I won't, I'm not going to tell you what clubs those are just yet because when I was in the Bahamas, I lost one of them. And then fast forward two months, good, good week, Kelly, I left another one up by the green. We're going to go in the store. We're going to get to the section of the club I got to replace. And then, yeah, I'm honestly here at PGA Superstore. I'm not going to hit any balls with them here. I'm going to just buy them based on look. I feel like... For me, a lot of me feeling confident in golf and playing good golf is just that the joint looks good when I'm standing over the ball. So that's what we're gonna do in here. Then we're gonna run to the office, hit the joints, see how they're working, spin rates, all that stuff. Yeah, this is part of my game that drastically needs to improve. Maybe this is the first step. It, it, it's, it's never changing clubs is what helps you out, but maybe it is today. Let's get in there. All right, y'all, so we've made in the store, and as you can see, we have come to the wedge section. You know, those are those are probably the main clubs you lose because you take them up to the green with you. You don't need every one you brought up there, and bam, you just leave that joint there. Never seen again. So yeah, I came straight back to the Cleveland golf section, though, because I used to have a Cleveland wedge, like, early on in high school, and I absolutely loved the joint. Never had one since. So I'm gonna check some of these Clevelands out. They look fresh, they look clean. And y'all, you know, I haven't like bought a wedge in a long time. These joints are expensive, bro. Like some of the wedges back there are like 220 a pop. Good night. But yeah, I'm gonna take some looks at these Clevelands here. Honestly, I kinda like this. I like I like like the dark finish. It always looks better over the ball than like your normal silver finish. I'm gonna check this out. The two wedges I lost, I lost my 56 and like my gap wedge, my 50, 52 degrees. So I'm gonna try and replace those two today. Yeah, I think I'll probably go 56, 52. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's check some of these joints out. Yo, right here, take a look at these. See how the grooves are, come on, focus there. Focus. See how the grooves are full face there? I like that, because your boy who ain't the best at ball striker, even when I hit it on the toe there, is still gonna catch a groove some. I'm, I'm gonna keep these joints in hand and now I'm gonna go test out and look at the Vokies. All right, y'all, so we have made it to the good, good office. Now look, I already got the track, man. I got the joint set up for a nice 90 yard shot right up there. Gonna get the wedges warmed up. Probably work up to like maybe a 125, 130 shot. But now the moment y'all have been waiting for, I gotta show y'all which clubs I selected to go with. And by no surprise, I only showed y'all one set of clubs at the PGA Superstore because I like the way they look so much. See, actually, the other ones I debated getting were the Bet Nardi wedges just because they looked cool. I'll throw a picture up here. I don't know why I didn't film in the store, but right here, those joints look dope. But we ended up going right here with the Cleveland RTX. Yeah, that's about all I know about them. But we got the 52 degree and the 56 degree. Both of them, nine degrees of loft. And look at this. Let me flip these joints over. I showed you. They got the whole groove face. I just really like the way that set up to my eye. It looked good when I was standing over it. And yeah, <laughs> looked good and playing good are two completely different things, but they tend to go together. So let's hit a few shots here on the 90 yards and uh, see what these things got. All right, y'all, so for the 90 yard shot, I'm gonna be starting out with the 56 degree. I love this. I could use a 60 degree for this shot, but my wedge game ain't really there. The 60 degree is tough for me to hit. I don't know why, I used to love it, but I don't know more. Brand new 56 degree, let's run it up. We'll hit a few with this, hit some with that joint as we get up to the longer yardages. Yeah, let's just hope they work well. Really 
All right, y'all, from 90 yards, this joint gets a thumbs up. I like hitting this a lot more than a 60 degree from 90 yards. 56 just the past year or so, as I've kind of lost, I guess, touch per se with my wedges. I don't know. But the 56 is going to become my favorite club, but it's tough having been without it for the past month, couple months or so, I think. Yeah, but that's not the case no more. We are reunited. And yeah, I like that it's got the full face. The club's got nine degrees of bounce, which I think is perfect for me. And that's about all I know, is I just hope I hit it well and it goes towards the hole. All right, y'all, so we're gonna do a complete reset here. I hit some balls with the 56, trying to get it up to the 120, and then I realized wind was into me a pretty good amount. Don't know why the joint would do that. It's a practice range. But yeah, so I just turned the wind down to zero. We're gonna reset here, and I'm gonna hit some more with the 56. See if it works. And that makes a lot more sense. A lot more sense. With the wind, I was hitting that exact same shot and coming up right in the bunker there. That's gotta go a bit. Let's see. Let's see how forgiving this is. Does that still get there? Almost. I like that. Under the 52 from the same yardage. All right, y'all, so we're staying at 120 yards. I'm gonna be using the 52 degree here and hitting more of like a knockdown chip kind of shot. Seeing if that works better, feels better. Yeah, let's just hit it. Hope goes towards the hole. Alright y'all, so for the final location, we bumped it up to 140 yards, trying to save a full swing, 52, we'll cover that distance and go the right yardage and get there. That's all I'm interested to see. It's five yards downhill though, so we're going to have to take that into account. And yeah, no wind. Turned the wind off. It was really messing with me on the last location. But yeah, let's get up there, hit it, see what this joint does. All right, y'all, after testing these joints out, all I can say is I really like them. I do enjoy them. They feel good. They look good over the ball. But obviously, hitting off turf, you can't get to the point where you say you love some. You got to hit it on grass. You got to hit it on the real course and see how they're treating you out there. Hitting off turf is a lot easier than hitting off grass. We all know that. But yeah, I like these joints. I'm very pleased with my purchase. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps your boy out. I'm so stoked for 2022. And I can't wait to share all the journeys, all the travels, all the adventures, all the expeditions with each and every one of y'all here. Good, good across all the guys' channels. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Y'all mean the world to us. Thank you guys for all this wholeheartedly. It's unreal. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Much, much love, y'all. Peace.